Well, hello there. Cassie from Elementor here. Today I'll show you how to use and design a content lock pop-up. You know, for like, site selling alcohol. In the dashboard, under Templates, Add New. Choose Pop-up and give it a name that you'll remember. Click Create Template and close the library window. Set the width to 600 pixels, the height to 800. Set the content position to the center. Slide the close button to hide. Why? So that the pop-up won't close until the user clicks their response. In entrance animation, let's use fade in. Now let's add some content to our pop-up and later we'll finish the rest of our settings. Drag in a heading widget. Compose your text and design it. The size, color, box shadow, etc. Drag in a button widget. Fill in your answer text as yes, and add an icon. In style, design the button. Border radius, padding, box shadow, and more. Even add some animation on hover. Now add another button and change the text to no. Here, you can also personalize it with various settings. Alrighty. Back to setting up the pop-up itself. Click the cog icon in the bottom here. Under Style, make it transparent. And add a background image. Here you can play around with further settings. In the Advanced tab, add padding on the right and left. Over to the Section Settings, Style, add a thick border of 15 pixels. And some padding, just on the bottom. Click the column handle to design its background. Choose Gradient and Radial. Let's also add some box shadow. In Advanced, let's make the column jump out of its frame by adjusting the margin and padding. Back to the heading, let's change it from black to white, as well as the button's color. Check it out, our pop-up looks awesome. We're aiming to make the Yes button close the pop-up. First go to the button link, under Dynamic, choose Pop-up, and press Pop-up again. Choose Close Pop-up, and slide Don't Show Again. Whoever answers No will be sent to a more age-appropriate site. To ensure that your users respond, head on back to Pop-up Settings, in the Advanced tab, Slide on Prevent Closing on Overlay and Escape key, and click Publish. Keep in mind, for this example, you don't need conditions, triggers, or advanced rules. Why not? Because this pop-up is displayed via clicking a button. Save and close. So let's get into the settings of the button that opens the pop-up. So on our page, click on Buy Now. Under Link, Dynamic, choose Pop-up. Click Pop-up again. For Action, Open Pop-up and find our pop-up. That's it. Let's see it in action. Here we see the home page. Click Buy Now, and then the pop-up appears. Well done. Before we finish, check out this slide trick. You can even configure a click on a pop-up to open yet another pop-up using a whole other design. Not only that, within that second pop-up, add a third pop-up. Endlessly entertaining, right? But don't ever use it if you still want any friends. Happy hour! Cheers! Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more pop-up design tips.